Howdy folks. In the previous video, we talked about the global browser object and the various things that it could do. One thing it does is it exposes a bunch of methods to be able to interact with the WebDriver protocol. And what the WebDriver protocol is basically is, is a uh, W3C specification for how the browser drivers should be implemented to be able to control the browser. So essentially you have Gecko driver, which, which is intended to implement these commands, Chrome driver, which would also implement these standards. So you all, so everything is a universal standard to be able to send and receive requests, requests from the drivers. Previously, you might've known about the JSON wire protocol that is being deprecated. Uh, the web driver protocol is base a lot on that, but they, they vary very, they vary slightly, but not too much. You also have um, some different things for APM and mobile. Won't get into the mobile right now, um, but for now, we're just going to look at the web driver protocol and what commands that those supply. I'll briefly touch on what might be the differences between the new web driver protocol and the JSON wire protocol, but let's, let's do that now. So this exposes just a lot of different methods that we can do. So one thing we can do is the sessions things you might not have to worry about too much because WebDriver does a lot of that for you. But let's look at get current URL. So if you want to look at the get the current URL of the page you're on, you can just do browser.getCurrentURL. Um, browser.back if you want to go to the back page. Browser.forward. Browser.refresh, if you want to just refresh the page. So there's a bunch of different commands on here. I'm not going to go through all of them. I'll just kind of go through a few of them. And I'll post a link to this as well in the YouTube video. We have browser.get title to get the title of the page. And some of these are actually like, let me find one. But some of these, what WebDriver does is will expose these to make it easier to interact with. So let's let's find an easier one. If, let's see. Essentially find element. Yeah, so find element. What WebDriver actually does for us, if you remember the dollar sign, and we do like foo to get a class, what this is actually doing behind the scenes is it, it's essentially doing find element to find this element. So it just kind of makes it a little bit easier on us for some of these things. Same thing with find, find elements you would notice would be the, the double dollar sign. But there's some, for some of these, uh, the, these, it's so easy to use that WebDriver doesn't need, need to expose them. So it just exposes these on the browser object. You need to get active element. Is element selected? There's already an is selected that WebDriver exposes. So you could just do, um, let's see, food is selected instead. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, there's, there's a few different things here. Um, you can search through it. I'm not gonna go through everything. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, one thing, there's a screenshot. You can take screenshot with it, browser.screenshot as well. Um, one thing that might be useful is there's alerts. If you have a browser alert, you can dismiss the alert accept the alert, get the alert text. Um, one thing that's going to be a little bit different for the, the new web driver protocol is the actions API that it exposes. The JSON wire protocol does not support the actions. So the actions is a pretty powerful and complicated API. I'm not going to get into that now because it's way outside of the scope of this. But what this does is it kind of eliminates some of the things from the JSON wire protocol, like, like button down and button up, I think, because they can all just be done inside the action. So like the web driver protocol doesn't have button up and button down, whereas a JSON wire protocol does. So those are going to be deprecated commands. So that's why you don't want to try, you try, try not to use like a button up or button down from the JSON wire protocol. If that's what you're currently, currently using, try to come over here and maybe use actions. The problem with that sometimes is, is Chrome driver at the time of this video does not support actions. So hopefully they will 
implement that soon, but Firefox does. Um, it'll be up to you, the choice you, you'll have to make right now. Um, but that's the basics of the API. There's a lot more in here that you can read up on. If you want to read up on like some of the mobile with APM um, and different things like that, you can. It's right here.